just take the punishment. You've enjoyed a downhill section, now we're going to punish you. That wasn't as uphill as I was led to believe. <clears throat> oh no, there it is. <laughs> Spoke too soon. <laughs> I don't. I have no idea where we are. I think that's the road that we came in on. Oh, hello. Oh God, no, I can't do this. <laughs> oh, that'd be the hill there. That is quite a hill, isn't it? Turn that. <laughs> Try again. Oh no, don't. Okay. <laughs> don't do it, don't do it! Stop it. <sighs> Who am I? Oh, thank God. So I don't need to pay for a bleed as well.
right. week's time. Got to do something with them in the summer. Done. <laughs> So I reckon if enough people claim that pushing is the professional way to do it, more people will take it up. <clears throat> All the pros are doing it. Steve Pete pushes all the time. Did you watch that video I sent you yesterday? That, yeah, the mini scooters. I actually want one of them now. Ah. Yeah. Now I was just watching, I don't know, did you go back and watch the start of the video? It's, uh, it's that this is PT thing they're doing where they're just following her around. And it's gonna sound really nasty me saying this, but it was just kind of really depressing, the whole thing. Cause it's like Steve Pete, top of his game. Did he win the world champs? He did win the world champs in, was it the Fort William one? No, it wasn't. He's won the World Champs, he's won World Cups, he came first at the World Cup in Fort William a couple of years ago. I, he's been top of the game for years. And then, the, this is Petey thing, and he's struggling to get 18th, 40th, I think he got 40th at Fort William. And I, I respect the guy, I mean, I've got his book and everything, but just that fit, it's just depressing, it's like, yeah, it just feels like, well, he's trying to regain that form of glory, and it's like he's just got to that point where he can't do it anymore. <clears throat> uh -huh. And I feel bad because he's a fantastic rider and he's a really good guy. But it just feels like he's trying to get back to something I don't think he can do anymore. I mean, he can do it, but he can't do it at that level anymore. And it's just depressing. I, mean, I don't like because well, I'm coming up to 30 now and I don't like, I like riding and everything I don't like the idea that one day I won't be able to ride and I'll just look back and go, I remember having all that fun doing that but I can't do it ever again it's just uh, I know it's supposed to be a good kind of feel good film about Steve Pete's season but it's just really depressing it just reminds you how it's all going to go to shit I might be taking the wrong impression away from this film. <laughs> yeah, they were still having fun. <clears throat> oh, good, good advice. Okay. Uh, 
See, this is why we need a second headset. So this is the kind of conversation that is actually going to be pretty good for the site. This is the kind of conversation which people would listen to. And at the moment we're getting one half of it. <laughs> I think I just stood on a snail. <laughs> Sorry. I don't remember this at all. Do not remember this bit of trail. Ghost the bike off the edge. And I'll see you at the bottom, bitch. <clears throat> oh, come on. <sighs> I'm just going to finish that packet of tablets. Got one. Is that you or me? Okay. I was going to say, it can't be my back brake. <laughs> huh? I was going to say, put a bit of water on it. So I find sometimes if you just put a little bit of water on a squeaky brake, it'll oh, fuck off. <laughs> hey, so yeah, you know the whole thing about trail dog videos, no swearing because it's for everyone. Fuck this. 15 to 18, it's, it's, we're, we're pushing the rating up here. We're, we're out of the box now. We're oh, if there's any more of these, there's gonna be violence. This is a surefire sign that whoever designed Clandegla does not like people. <laughs> this is almost as bad as the one at Glen Tress. So like you do you do a couple of fairly fun trails on the black, and then you get the tower ride, which just goes straight up the bloody hill. And it's that moment you realise that they hate you. They hope you suffer. <clears throat> I don't think I mentioned, but I finally got the rest of those batteries. They did send them in the end. I had to coerce them, but they did send them in the end. <clears throat> so I assumed what they'd probably do is just delete the page that I found where they were selling them for two dollars each. Because uh, it was a I think it must have been an old special offer or something that they never got rid of. But it was still listing them at that. And you can still find it via Google, which is how I got it. So, I, I imagine they probably deleted it to stop anyone else taking advantage of it. So 
So I checked it the other day and it's still there. So I think I'm going to get a second bunch. <laughs> I'll sell them on for a profit. <laughs> Nah, not many people use the Hero 2s now. I mean, a lot of people do, but everyone wants the new 3, don't they? <laughs> and it's a different battery, so... I mean, fair play. I'd like a Hero 3. They're nice. I think they've got Wi-Fi as well. So none of this messing around with cables and stuff, but... Unfortunately, it's also about 350 pounds, which is a slightly limiting factor. So, quick quiz. Are we going up to the fire road, or is this trail just taunting us with a fire road and then taking us up more hills? Answers on a postcard. This is one of the downsides to filming, is you can't just take the helmet off. And you can't take shortcuts because you got to map it. What? Oh, great. <laughs> okay, I'm talking to myself. Excellent. Really hope I remember to press record. not the kind of encouragement I wanted to hear. This is where they do the Clandegla Hill race. Fuck. <laughs> Let's hope it's a downhill race. <laughs> Any person found trespassing, causing damage, depositing refuse, or polluting water on his property will be prosecuted. Hooray. Yeah, it's just hill. <sighs> I think it counts as polluting the water if you just drown yourself. <laughs> so, let's do the kind of businessy stuff. How would you rate Clandagla so far? Yeah, you know, marks out a 10. Are you enjoying it? Ten's good. 10's good. 10's fantastic. 10's perfect. 10 is like the, the best. <laughs> Five. It's it's like a mini France in places. Uh, it it's it's a surefire way to find anything loose on your bike. Mostly, by the way, it overtakes you on the downhills. Uh, it just explodes, and we end up with bits. Uh, I don't know. I think I, I think I'm going to give it four and a half. I, mean, I I really do like a lot of the downhills, and it's a lot less groomed than a lot of places, which is nice. A bit more of a natural trail. Unfortunately, they seem to have 
place their trails in a place that defies physics. <laughs> At this point, uh, it wouldn't surprise me if we went around a corner and found a nice sweeping downhill with a hill on the other side. And then when you get to the top of the hill on the other side, there's just an arrow pointing back the way you've come. Uh, so you go back down and up the other way, and there's an arrow just pointing back the way you've come. Okay, who wants a drowning? It's water. <laughs> this is a drinking water reservoir. Well, that's me sold.